Hey, what's up? Guys, um, so I'm bringing you guys a video for my predictions this week. If only because I don't really feel like writing because I wrote so much last week. I've got um, an essay due in two days, and I've kind of been writing that on and off all day. And I've got some time to talk because my roommate's at work. So, yeah. Um, the first series is actually my team against the Cryos. I'm really looking forward to this series, personally. Um, a lot of my friends in the Cryos. Um, I'm just going up down the lineup. Excellent, someone I've worked with before. Solid player, just came off the RBY ribbon and a run in Wolf and um in, in the Blunders tour. Um, that Wolf won, and um, he's an SM. I expect him to be an RBY, but Laru, another respectable player, he's had a rough tour thus far. But he's coming off a win last week, and it seems like he's confident in RBY. So that should be good. Um, ETB is a friend of mine. I haven't gotten to work with him yet, but he's a solid, really creative player, good builder, knows the metagame well. Um, HG. Solid, you know, Ajna, one of the best RU players. A lot, he pretty much slot anywhere and do decently. Um, SMB, not really familiar with, but, you know, strong DU player. I think he's actually done really well in, in Snake, and now he's been the solid SPL, if I recall correctly. Um, Obi is not really a household name as a player, but he's one of my best friends on here. I really like that guy. Um, him versus Genesis should be really cool, actually. I think that's a close game. Looking forward to it. Um, Energy, my opponent. Um, hey, man, looking forward to a good week. Hopefully, we can have a fun battle. I've enjoyed my games in Black White thus far, so hopefully a continuation of that. Um, Malekith. One of the more creative, um, interesting, scrappy players out there. Definitely a strong opponent. Looking forward to the DPP game as well. Um, Alexander, um, just a kind of a veteran. Um, really jack of all trades. And he's a master of a couple. Um, I don't know if ADP is necessarily one of them, but he's definitely competent, so it should be a good game between him and Linear. And then um, ABR. I mean, everyone knows him. He's in GSC, so that should be a good game. ABR against Earthworm. That'll be cool. Um, yeah, looking forward to that for sure. Um, yeah, good luck, friends. Um, hoping for a clean week. But I'm um, not going to say much more, just I don't feel like predicting my own dude's games. I think that's not really the right thing to do. And we're going to go down to the um, Wolf Pack against the Ruiners. All right, so first game. Um, actually, oh, shit. I'm going to pause one second and get through with this. Sorry. My bad. Anyway, we're back. Um, so High versus Charm Flash. Um, Charm Flash is using all sorts of stuff. Um, Cross Tap Road and Wash being the newest thing in the block um and he's winning he's 5-0 um hi i don't think he's lost since he got into fm himself i know he won pretty convincingly today against obi um before the tournament i definitely predicted high to win but um i mean i'm kind of a firm believer in high just because i feel like he always wins an sm like look at his track record 5-1 i think his worst is 5-1 he was like 7-3 or 6-4 in snake he's just a strong competitor and I think that he's, he also has an experience. Um, but it's hard to predict against Charm Flash when he wins, like, every game off of seemingly weird shit. I mean, it's kind of like predicting against tricking. Like, you never really can do that with much confidence. Because, I mean, it's tricking. Like, yikes, he could pull up any fucking head ass out of the way and win games that he really had no business doing, which happened well, um twice against me in the last couple tournaments so yeah i'm predicting high the win here um but i can't really do it with much confidence um sorry just respond to a text message um all right i might have to pause this to fucking have a conversation with someone over text because they're bothering me in real life but anyway um <laughs> Um, yeah, I think High is just a better player, um, more proven at least. And I think that his teams, um, well, they're not really spectacular. They're kind of whatever. I mean, he doesn't build, but I feel like this SPL, his teams have been kind of whatever. During Snake, he used most of my teams. Hmm. Um, all right, yeah, I'm going to pause to have a conversation with someone, then I'll be back. All right, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. It was like a five-minute wait. Anyway, um, so yeah, I think High is um, more established and... Um, his team building isn't great, but at least it's not from his perspective. So it's hard to scout, which may um, negate the surprise factor from Charm Flash's build. And I think in an even battle, I slightly favor high. But really, these guys are both high level. Um, both these guys could win against anyone in the field. I have a ton of respect for both. Um, I'm like 51 49 high. Um, anyway, ne next game, we got Empo versus Kickasser. Um, Kickasser finally got taken down last week. Empo's, um, Empo's back on track. Um, I still think that Kickasser is the better of the two, though. Oh my god, I fucking keep getting messages. Sorry, I'll be back. And I'm back for real this time, I swear to god. Anyway, Kickass or Empo. So Kickass has been really strong. Um, he's had a nice run, individuals and team tournaments. Um, he's just shown that he's one of the better SM players. Um, and now that he's on a computer, I can even be confident in him, which is crazy. That combination right there, that strength. Um, 
Empo, on the other hand, um, I don't know. I mean, I, it's hard for me to really have sustained confidence in him. He has such high highs, but then sometimes he kind of goes brain dead. Um, just my honest belief. Um, I think that um, Kickass is favored. More stable teams. Um, I feel like he also has more support in the back. Um, not really sure what the real source of teams on the Ruiners actually is, to be quite honest. But, um, no, I mean, Kick's just a really strong player. This game should be close, too, though. But all, all four of these guys are strong SM players. So I'm looking forward to both these games. But, yeah, I'm going to favor I and Kick-Ass to split it. Um, UU, RUNU. Um, I'm not going to give too much analysis on these. Um, probably, but I think Pearl's going to win, um, Wella is going to win, and Eternally's going to win. Um, Pearl is probably the best GU player right now, and, um, he's not going to use Stall again, but he's going to win. I mean, Bugsy, um, Bugsy's solid, but this feels just really strong, so it's hard for him to stand out. And I think that Luck is going to probably turn the tables here, and I think that Pearl's just a bit of a better player. So he'll emerge on top in a close one. Um, Passion versus Well, I really have nothing to say, I just think Well's but better. Both are solid, and Eternally lacks. Um, I don't think Eternally is going to finish negative, and I feel like um, Lax might be a bit tilted after last week. I don't know. It's kind of a gut call, and I am a bit biased towards Eternally, but um, that's my personal pick. Um, doubles, I don't fucking know, but Kroven seems to be winning a lot of games for some reason, so maybe Kroven wins, <laughs> probably. Shows what the fuck I know. I mean, it's doubles, man. Fuck that. Um Sorry versus TDK. I, this is, I don't know. TDK played really well last week, and he kind of came up empty handed. So I feel like um, he's going to probably do that again this week and probably going to get rewarded. Um, I don't know what to think of Sorry, man. This guy could be really good or really bad or somewhere. I, he, I really don't know. But um, at least he's been using some okay teams in ORS as far. Um, kind of went for shit to the fan. But man, um, got a favorite TDK. Ruler versus Sergi. Um, Man, this is hard. I want to favor Ruhr, but I think Sergi's got the better black-white roots. And also, um, Lavos spawn being your personal team builder is just not the great idea in black-white right now. And I think Lavos is a phenomenal mind for the game. A nice guy, a good, good player. But um, Art Chops in a 6-5 game? Really? I don't know, man. I'm, I'm going to be a hater on that. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm favoring Sergi, though. Um, he's just more of a steady, reliable pilot, too. Um, Jimmy Turtwig versus DBC. I think I'm favoring Jimmy versus pretty much everyone besides Roscoe in this pool. I'm just really fond of his style. Um, I think that bringing Rain against Void was stupid, but it worked out, so there you go. And, I mean, the rest of his games, he's been pretty solid. He did take a beating from Kith this week, but um, I don't think he messed up much. Overall, though, I'm just pretty high on the Jimmy Turtwig bandwagon. I think DBC is more of um, a steady, but not high-ceiling player. And he's been using some interesting stuff, which could be cool, but I don't know. I mean, I, I have more confidence in Jimmy. Um, UD versus Eden's Embrace. Eden's Embrace is back in business. Um, don't really know what else to say beyond that. I mean, UD didn't look great last week at all against Michael P. He looked pretty um, pretty out of his out of shape. But Eden's Embrace is 1-1 um, one, one bench, I think. Um, I don't know. I'm not really fond of Eden's as a player relative to the top ADP players like UD. I mean, I think he's fine, right? But, like, I think UD's better. So, despite UD not looking great last week, I think I have to favor him. Um, Lavo's fear at a juicy game of the tournament might as well be... Um, I think I can't not favor Lavos, though. I mean, Lavos has been all over the place. Um, this guy's mad good. And he can use pretty much anything. She whiz. Yeah, I favor Lavos. Um, and friend of Mr. Gombers, Idiot Ninja. Uh, I think I favor Idiot Ninja just because I feel like he's got his fundamentals really well together. Um, he doesn't misplay much. And if he keeps his composure, then he's as good as anyone in the tier. And he's proven that over the last season or two. So anyway, just to run down. Um, one, two, shit, um, three, four, five. So I'm favoring a Wolf Pack to win 7-5 to five in the first series. All right, so we got um, the Wolfpack winning 7-5. Close series. Both teams are playoff teams, probably. Anyway, I'm going to pause just to look at the next series. All right, we back, boys. Um, we got the Sharks versus the Indy Scooters. Um, Scooters looking pretty good as far as Sharks taking some unfortunate losses. Um, but they have a strong roster, don't get me wrong. Um, Spectre is in the first game last week, and he had a surprising victory against Eternal Spirit, although I think a large part of it was more um, Eternal Spirit's vulnerability to Tapu Bulu, more so than... Um, anything else but it's a win and that's as good a start as you could ask for against someone like eternal spirit when you're inspector's shoes so um 
definitely major credit to him. Um, it certainly do. Anyway, so um, unfortunately, he gets another hard opponent, Lovely Kicks. And I feel like Lovely Kicks against anyone that's not, like, overpowering brings just, like, random shit, and it just kind of works out. I mean, last week he claims to have misclicked. I don't know if there's actually misclick or not. I mean, it was switching out, so I feel like you wouldn't misclick that. But, I mean, anything's possible, right? So, like, but he won anyway against Tala. Um, this is a really bizarre game, but um, Lopney Kicks is a really ridiculous ceiling, but there's also so much variance there. You could do fucking random-ass shit sometimes, and... I don't know what to think about that, but I think he's better and more proven than Spect here. Quite frankly, I think he's establishing himself as one of the mainstays in the SMU field, even if it's not for the right reasons necessarily. He's got the results. And I think he's solid, really nice guy. Um some of my favorite opening kicks here. Spect here just isn't um isn't as established quite yet. Um I think he's kid could win though. Anything's possible. Um tricking versus Will of Fire. Um I don't know where the fuck tricking's teams come from, quite frankly. This week. But um I mean he's the better player. Wolf has looked uninspiring this far. He used um, bright powder on the top of Bulu, so he should probably not be in SPL. Um, okay, that's a joke. I think he definitely belongs in SPL. His builds have created um, a lot of ripples in the metagame, rippling effects. Um, but I think that tricking is better in game, and I think that's going to go far enough to give the Sharks player a win, even the SM out and the series out at 1 1. Um, like Kent's versus Rob Jr., um, Rob's coming off a win against Pac. I feel like his team choices this has been really nice. And like Ends, the same thing we said last week, he won. He's a nice team. But I think that Rob Jr. is a bit better in terms of the team choices. And I think they're pretty even in terms of in-game play. Maybe an upset in the eyes of some, but I predict Rob Jr. to win. Um, I'm a bit biased here, but I think he's a really strong player. And I think that he can maybe um, turn things in um, the favor of his own team, the Scooters, and um, himself in this matchup here. Um... Also worth noting that these two kind of have had a lot of fucking close games in the past, so definitely looking forward to this. I think it's a highlight UU match. Lighthouses versus Ivigaro. Um, Lighthouses has been actually a bit better at this SBL and RU, but Ivigaro has been killing it. Um, so I'm favoring Ivigaro. Um, she's been on a roll, and I've got mad respect for that. I think she's really came out in the scene strong, which is no surprise to me considering she's beaten me 3 0 in um, UUPL, all three games in Black White UU, which is one of my best years. See, yeah, Ivigaro is strong, and you know, shut up me, of course. Um, anyway, Pede, Realistic Waters, um, I'm used to are like butt buddies, man. I feel like Ted is going to win this game, though. I mean, there's no way this man starts 05. That would be fucking ridiculous. That is one of the best new players on the site. I don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Ted is solid. Good player. I just don't think he's been feeling it lately. And, um, well, I think this is the time. Especially against somebody so familiar with, I feel like he'd get a good footing. Even if realistic waters can use anything, I just feel like Teddy is um is solid and he's gonna turn around this week. So I'm favoring Teddy. Um Fast Pee versus Miltank again. I don't know doubles, but Miltank I feel like is a stronger player. I feel like actually he gets kind of unnecessarily hated on and like power rankings and shit. Yeah, I'm favoring Miltank. Pasho versus Ben Gay. I mean, as much as I want to favor Pasho, I don't think I can. I think Ben Gay has been the stronger player thus far. Pasho still um showing some signs of, you know, Maybe Rust or not being in peak form. Um, whatever you'd like to say. In Oros, in my opinion, I, I don't know. He, he played a damn good game until the end, and then he kind of just all fell apart for Pasho. Whereas Ben Gay is, um, we won rough game, but the rest has been pretty strong, especially his game against me. He played that quite well. Um, although he brought fucking um, some strong-ass shit, too. Those fi the fire coil is pretty fire. Um, oh, the, the fire, fire. Okay, I guess that's the only word I can say to describe things anymore. But yeah, I mean... The core of fire types was pretty fire. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, Ben Gay, I'm a strong opponent for Pasho. It's going to be hard for him to win. I'm going to favor Ben Gay, but it should be a good game. Ojama versus KG and Black White. I mean, you, you just bold Ojama's name here. KG and Black White feels weird. And last time he played, it wasn't like SPL like six or five when he subbed in for Soul Wind. He didn't know Landris wasn't in the tier anymore. And he got ghosted as shit, according to Shake by the Sharks. I don't know. I don't know, man. KG and Black White, that sounds kind of fucked, though. I'm going to favor Ojama for sure. Um, Toph versus Mop. Wow. Trust. Oh, my goodness. These, these both, all, all of, both these games, uh, dude, they've been around fucking forever, man. I tell you what. Um, but anyway, um, Mop looked nice last week, but he used Shadow Ball with that, that the road, and that play bothered me, man, because that leaves you down 6-5 every other fucking game. But whatever, it worked. He outplayed Orozco, and he had um, a number of cool things up his sleeve as well. 
But I'm kind of a stickler for sticking to my guns, and I know Toph is a strong player. I think he got pretty upset when I was kind of messing with a Celebi earlier in the tour. I mean, I just don't think Celebi's that great in DVP from my own experience, but I mean, sure, it doesn't niche. Like, don't get me wrong, but I mean, I, I feel like Toph got a bit um, upset about that, and I, I didn't really mean to, like, flame the dude or whatever. I, I've always been on okay terms with him. I know we teamed together one hour with BL, but I think that he's solid. I mean, genuinely. I think he um, beat my boy Donut last week, too. Um, I don't think he's the best player in the field, but I think he's one of them. Um, and I think that against someone who has kind of sporadically played the tier for as long as I can remember, I don't really see Mop standing on DVP anytime in the last five years, for example. And against Toph, who's been a constant in tier, I think you got to favor Toph. Um, and we've got Triangles versus Dexa. Um, Triangles is finally in SPL. Look at that. And he's playing Dexa. Um, when's the last time Dexa viewed the fucking forum, man? Oh, he's been on today. Okay. I'm trying to be active too, you know. Yeah. Um, anyway, I favor Dexa. Um, Dex is just a really strong player. I've been on um, his side of this matchup before, too, in SPL8. And he, he just um, he knows when to click the right buttons and when to kind of be more conservative. He's just got a great grasp on the game. If he shows up and he's informed, he's going to win. He showed that in over the first couple of weeks. I think things kind of died down. But, yeah, no. I'm a bit on the Dexa train, assuming he's active. Conflict, Gera, favorite Conflict. Um, not much else to say, really. This looks better in GSC. The Conflict doesn't any tier. And Gera doesn't any tier, rather, at this point. And Tama in RBY? Oh, against Me What? All right, so Sceptros finally gets benched after using Omastar and getting um, a weird-ass fucking series of games. I feel like he got luckier against Beds, but it was what it was. I mean... I don't know, though. I, I, Tom Home is going to win any old gen more often than not. Um, so I'll favor him, but I, I don't really know if it's won like a 55-45 because Metal's been in here forever. But, you know, I, I had Tom on my team in one on PLCL, and he played like DPP, ADV, GSC, and RBY, and he won in all four of them, and he won like 7-0 or some shit. Tom, Tom is a beast, honestly. But, yeah, no, I mean, I'm a big fan of Tama. But seeing RBY does feel kind of weird, but it, it'll work. Um, He'll win. More often than not. But yeah, um, so I favor him here. Anyway, let's go down the list. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so I, I figured there's going to be a six, six. Well, like, if I had to pick one team, I definitely picked the Scooters. I feel like they've been a hotter team lately. Um, I just feel like favoring Teta and kind of a toss up. Toff in a close game, and um, both GSC and RBY kind of swings this swing, swing, swings the scales into his favor of a Strax tie. But no, nah, I, I, if I had to predict the team, they want to be the Scooters. So, probably it's not out of the question, though. Um, okay, we got the Raiders versus the Tyrants. Oh, boy. The Raiders lineup. All right, hold up. I'm going to pause for a second just to get things sorted. Right, we back with this Raiders lineup that has Jirachi and RBY. Bro Fist in ADV. Hell, Mr. 378. They changed all three of their old gen, old, old gen sides. Right? All right. I'm feeling, they're feeling themselves right now. Not really after that absolute domination of the scooters they handled. But nah, I mean, the Raiders have some versatility. I'll give them that. So they're going to make the best of it. They also see, you know, you can put down the list anyway. Um, Tala versus Mana. Um, I don't know. I mean, my thing with either name, Tala, whatever you want to call him, um, Eternum? I don't know what that initial name was. I'm going Tala now, though. Um, he uses some strong teams. I think he's got a real knack for building, but I'd be lying if I said I thought his gameplay was up there with the best in the tier. And I've been high on mana all tour. I think that he wins will definitely come to him, and I think this is one of them. Um, oh, I just got a funny Snapchat. Oh, no. Anyway, sorry. Um, shit. I'm a fucking sister. Uh, she's at some fucking dance or whatever. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, We got Tala Mana. Yeah, no, I think Mana is just a strong player. He uses really creative stuff, too. And I think that kind of expands him to where it's kind of a rough matchup stylistically for Tala. Um, couple that with Mana's um, real grasp on timely aggression, and I think that that's a favorable matchup for him. Um, meanwhile, um, positioning the Hollows versus Blunder. Um, I think that's Blunder is a pretty clear favorite, favorite here. I don't really know much about the Hollows. I've been told he's a solid dude, though. And I, I want to see him play. I'm always interested in seeing new players play, so I hope he has a good debut in his first SPL, but I'm not. I'm definitely favoring Blunder. Blunder's hot right now. Um, Pack versus Cristo. Really good GU game, although. I mean, you could say that, but half the GU game, for fuck's sake. Um, I'm in my YouTube channel and everything I stand into a meme according to Cristo, though. So I'm just going to say I want Pack to win. 
and leave it at that. Don't use stall, buddy. Please don't use stall in this game. This, this that would be a big mistake. Um, all right, Sage versus Aim. Um, Aim been our U all tour. Sage looked unimpressive in UU, albeit I don't think Sage is a bad player, not at all. But I think that Aim is better in RU. I don't really know much about Sage in RU as well, so definitely favor an Aim. Um, Meeps Ice T. I mean. Ice T's been the more consistent, impressive player thus far, probably historically as well, but both are pretty close. Um, I want my boy Meeps to win, but I think Ice T's really solid. Um, I'm a fan of his builds thus far as well, so I'm like 55 45 Ice T right now, but it could go either way, definitely. Um, Biocide versus M Forbes. Like, I don't really know doubles, but I feel like Forbes is like the best or second best player in this tier. Definitely a really strong opponent. Um, so Biocide. Who I don't think has been standing out as much. I, I could be wrong. I know Forbes actually has had a couple off weeks as well. Actually, I don't even know what their records are. And I'm, I'm off base right now. Um, but I, I favor Forbes. So maybe I'm right. Maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? I'm probably wrong, honestly. It feels like a game I'll run. Let's go Poet. Oh, my. Um, a Spanish brawl in Oras between two guys who have been doing well in the tier. Albeit, Poet kind of got fortunate last week. But yeah, Poet is a really strong Oras player, in my opinion. I feel like he's much more properly placed there than he is in SM. Um, Trosco has been on, on fire, though. This guy... Making all the right picks in game and in team builder. Um, so I think I'm gonna like slightly favor Trosco, like 51 4 numbers. This could really go either way. Um, definitely really excited for this game. Want to see how it goes. Um, teams are especially gonna be important here, I feel like, because both are a similar level of play, in my opinion. Um, so and We Three Kings. Right, I mean, I think this is the game We Three Kings falls. I mean, he got lucky in a couple games, but last week he played a really nice game against, um, was it Sergi? I want to say Sergi, but I, I I can't quite remember. Um, he played a nice game though, through and through, and he did get a bit lucky, but I don't think it mattered at all. But frankly, I think that Weezer Games is a solid um Calvio sand balance, and I think he played the part well. Um, but Solwyn's just one of the best black white players. And I feel like he's had a couple of misplayed games thus far, but he's gotten a bit fortunate to uh, bail back. And anyway, I, I just I favor Solwyn to win this game. I think I favor Solwyn against anyone on the planet in black white right now, despite the mistakes in the past weeks. But it could be close. I'm. I'm Thinking maybe 55 45 instead of like 65 35 or 60 40 like it normally would be. But yeah, I can't go against Solwind here. Roscoe against Gary Gengar. I mean, shit. This game actually is kind of interesting because now both have like the same record, if I recall correctly. Gary Gengar is actually kind of like quietly winning some games, but I, I don't know. I think Roscoe is still one of the strongest TVP players right now. He's got the BKC support, so of course that's a big pros. I mean, Roscoe just has a great grasp on when to make risks and when to kind of be a bit more methodical. Um, I feel like he really knows when to turn it on, though and kind of make his own plays, make his own momentum, and kind of sway the game in his favor. And I feel like in a metagame like DPP right now, especially given the teams that he pilots, like not really like cheesy stuff, kind of more um, more cover everything kind of stuff, I feel like that can go a long-ass way. And I think Gary Gengar's teams are kind of hit or miss. And while there's definitely a chance it hits and he actually comes out on top here, I don't think I'd necessarily favor that opportunity. But yeah, I'm interested in seeing this game. I don't think it's as um, wide a gap as many would think, but I still think Rask is the clear favorite for sure. Um... ADV, we got Brofist and ADV against my boy Gilbert Arena's Michael P. This guy that's 50 feet down the hallway right now. Um, shit. I mean, I'm favoring Brofist because it's Brofist, but I don't really know what to think here, man. Um, this is something. <laughs> ah, man. Th this game right here, this game could go anywhere, man. Who knows? Who the fuck knows? I sure as hell don't. I mean, Brofist and ADV, man. Like, what? <laughs> I thought he'd stick in SM, maybe drop the Boros. I know he could play Black White, too. But, I mean, hell, with John, he could play any generation. He made classic playoffs, after all. Um, now, Marco P is just not as good a player as um, Brofus, But, I mean, it's ADV. So, like, I feel like he's, like, naturally favored, right? But, like, I, I, I can't not ball Brofus. Man, that man has to go right there. <laughs> and, I mean, I feel like he's got enough support and he plays well. And, I mean, shit, with BKC in the back, anyone can do well. ADV if they know how to play the game. And John sure as hell does. John's a damn good player. I mean, he's been around. He's witnessed ADV for years and years. So while this might be his debut in the tier, I think he's favored. 378 Solkata. Um, 378's hungry for some wins, and he's been helping Solkata out. But I don't know, man. I think I think I favor Solkata. Um, Solkata's at least been like steadily playing the game every week in, week out, you know. Um, kind of been unimpressive overall this far, but... I just feel like I favor someone who's kind of been a steady hand as far as both someone who's coming off of, you know, well, not even the bench coming off of freaking midseason, you know. Um, I, I want to see something from 378 before I build his name, you know. I want, I want to see him prove himself. So this is a game for that. But still, that I'm favoring Salkata probably. Um, Rachi versus Heroic Troller. Um, well, I'm, I'm favoring Troller. Not really much else to say. 
So it's probably okay in RBY. Probably plays the gen turn, but like Brawler is Trawler, man. This guy is one of the best players in RBY, in my opinion. Even if he's been unfortunate some weeks, he's just great. Um, anyway, um, 1 0, 2 0, 2 1, 3 1, 4 1, 5 1, 5 2, 5 3, 5 4, 5 5. Six five seven five seven five in favor of the tyrants and um a kind of SM heavy tyrant old gen heavy raider series um that's funny the raiders old gens look totally different than you might expect them to in the old like, old old gens like Brofist three seven eight Tachi no one could have seen this after week one and no Brofist Nessem they got Tala plus Hollows and Sage and Arya it's just a different team man I don't know what to think of it but I mean I think they'll give the tyrants a run for their money right but like I think the tyrants are the better team so yeah I mean. Not much else to say. All right, closing stretch here. I'm actually thinking I'm doing a better time on this one than I usually do with my predictions. But anyway, we got um the bigs, my my old team. Unfortunately, a sinking ship this year against my Tigers. Another team full of friends. I like the Tigers a lot, actually. Um, first off, this game would have already happened. I'd have predicted ZF to win. So thanks for winning FLCL before that. So I don't have to make an ass out of myself. Ah uh, shit! Just keep. I gotta pause for a sec. Sorry. We back. Um, all right, so Valentine versus Eternal Spirit. Wow, uh, true enigmatic warfare here. I'm favoring Eternal Spirit against pretty much everyone, though. I mean, this guy's the goat right here. Um, he's winning all kinds of some games with all kinds of shit. I know he's taking a couple of rough losses thus far, but I think he's serviceable. Valentine actually looked pretty good last week, right? I don't think Valentine's a bad player, but nah. Um, I'm definitely favoring Gamma. Um, he's got Elmina um, Surprise, all kinds of stuff. All right, um, moving on. Sabella Sacri, um, close game here. Um, the ball is not a bad player. He's got a couple nice wins under his belt. Moved to UU, but now he's back. Um, Favor and Sakri to win here. Wait. Oh, Soul Gazer UU sick? Oh, there's a weird matchup. There's a really weird matchup down there. <laughs> we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Anyway, Favor and Sakri just he's been in the all along. He's been playing a solid game, using solid teams. Um, I just feel like kind of like he's been on a nice streak lately. He's a strong player. And even if he got a bit unfortunate last week, um, I'm a fan of Zachary. No, no lie. Um, I, I think he's solid, and I, I really like Sabella too. I want my man to win. I like. I, I want Sabella to win, right? But like, I just think Zachary's been a little bit better. This is Bill Soulgazer versus Adam. I mean, fuck knows. Soulgazer's a better player, but Adam knows you. You fuck ton more. Um, I think I'm gonna favor Soulgazer just because he's the lower tier goat. I mean, this guy wins every lower tier game he plays pretty much. This guy just don't lose. But I mean. Adam's a strong player. I definitely want to see him play, and I hope he gets more than just one week in the spotlight. So, yeah, I'm favoring SG, but who knows? Uh, speaking of fresh lower tier blood, um, Ultra Balls versus Pogis. Um, Ultra Balls kind of got slapped into a mismatch, unfortunately, though. Pogis is one of the strongest lower tier players out there. Ribbon Collector, Slam, Slam Runner, you know, the whole thing. Ultra Balls played a nice game last week, though, but unfortunately he timed out. But, man, um, I'm favoring Pogis for sure, but I think this is going to be close. This wouldn't surprise me if for an upset. Um... Uh, yeah, no, but I'm favoring Pogis, so this guy's heat. Um, Kushalos versus Ash, I mean, Gut says Kush, so I'm going to go with Kush. Kind of how I felt all of last SPL, Gut says Kush, going Kush! <laughs> nah, this guy can do anything at any given time, but at the end of the day, he's solid, man, Kush. No, Ash is, Ash is alright, too. He uses some interesting stuff, even. I, I'm kind of a fan of that, no lie. I think I underrated this guy coming in, but nah, I, I think that Kush is a bit better. Um, Ezreal versus Bowman, fuck if I know, both won last week, although Ezreal um, kind of got bailed later on in the game after forfeiting, uh, letting up kind of a favorable position, given what I've been told, but I don't know enough about doubles to really comment. I could be wrong, so I'm favoring Bowman. Looked really strong last week in the mid-late game. That's solid. Broke Hoppo versus X-Ray, I mean, I don't know. I, I think that um, X-Ray is a better player. Broke Hoppo did win against Pasha last week, but I don't think it's because of himself, it's more because of others, so... Let's favorite X Ray. FL Celery won. Now we got on um, this game. Um, let's just take a moment of silence to mourn on what DPP once was. All right. I, I hope you all had your moment of silence. Uh, I don't know what else to say. We got this guy who was tutored by Little Lucario playing Ace Matador, who is not going to show up and get subbed in for fucking Riku or fuck if I know. Harris is awesome versus Sig. I don't know. I, I'm predicting the Tigers to win this game if Ace Matador shows up. But if Ace Matador doesn't show up, I'm predicting the Bigs to win this game. Make of it what you will. Um, fuck if I know. Um, all right, Golden Sun versus Dice. Um, 
Oh, it does. It's really hot right now. He's in all kinds of gyms, winning all kinds of shit. I should have won some black light camps too. Unfortunate circumstances arose, though. Um, but anyway, Dice, um, Dice is some nice counter picks. He's some fucking swagger shit versus consoles. I don't fuck with that, but I actually think Dice is going to win here. I think Golden Sun's kind of really big on this Gengar Skarmory kind of offense wave with Jolteon, right? Uh, I don't even know if there's a Gengar in the equation, actually, just like Jolteon Spikes kind of wave. Like, I feel like that's kind of manipulable. I think that Dice could probably do that. But anyway, we'll wait and see um, what they come up with. If GS turns, changes it up, he's played some solid games all the season, so he could take it. Googly versus Donut. I'm bowling Donut's name, and I'm not talking anything more about it. And Nails versus Kaz. Same with Kaz. Um, just stronger player, in my opinion. Nails is fine. He's kind of lucky. But Kaz has been real nice so far. Anyway, let's see here. So, one, two, three, four. Five of swimming against Madler players. Six, seven. Yeah, I'm favoring um, the Tigers to beat the Bigs. So that's a wrap. Um, these are my predictions. Really hoping for a good game against um, Laurel, Energy, whatever he goes by. Hey, energy nowadays. Um, yeah, I hope for a good game. I'm hoping for a good series. Um, good luck. Finish peace.